Hello everyone, it's Metal Geek. How y'all doing? Today I got a little something, something. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you what it is. I know it's gonna be a little hard to get for some of you who haven't got it already, but today we're gonna be talking about the NES Mini or the NES Classic Edition. This guy right here. I was also able to get my hands on an additional controller, which are apparently even rarer than the systems themselves. Okay guys, so let's take a look at what's inside. I'm not a really big fan of unboxing videos unless you actually talk about the product and show how it works. But in this particular case, this is a pretty big deal. As of today, there is actually one of these that has sold for over $1,500 on eBay. So again, if you're trying to get one, just try to wait it out guys because you don't want to pay the overinflated prices. These should only run 60 bucks. Controllers should only run 10, not $1,500. So anyway, let's open this up. Like the packaging here. Although I was looking at the packaging for the controller and I may actually have to kind of rip that one open, which I like to collect the boxes, but not much you can do about that. At least in this particular case, it's just kind of like a flip open. Which, by the way, the packaging does look like kind of the original NES packaging, which is really nice. It does give it the retro feel. And it is really nice that Nintendo also decided to go ahead and actually um, produce those themselves instead of giving it off to somebody else. So it's a very authentic deal. You can get that Nintendo seal of quality, which they are always good at. Um, looks like a poster of some sort in here. Um, we'll check that out later. Uh, this is, I'm assuming, the miniature system and <laughs> it's miniature, all right. I guess they weren't kidding when they said you could put it in the palm of your hand. Of course, I was a little surprised when I first saw the box because I was like, this is a small box, and yet there it is, the replica of the original Nintendo. Let me try to get a little bit better lighting here. Sorry guys, I'm kind of shooting this on the whim. This isn't my normal setup. Usually I like to do it during the day with better lighting. Um, but it looks exactly like the original NES, minus the fact that these have different ports and that doesn't open. No, doesn't open. I already knew that because I'd read reports and stuff on it. Um, this is going to be an HDMI output and the DC in, which is actually interesting. Kind of looks like um, a mini USB, actually. So I guess it might use the same thing as like a cell phone charger, which is a, a far cry from the gigantic block it used to be. Um, this is a controller. Now I've already heard that these controllers have extremely small cords on them. So I'm prepared for that. I am going to probably get myself some, uh, what do you call it, those uh, cord extensions that are, on, that are being sold on like eBay and Amazon and stuff like that. I'm not carried in the store as far as I know. HDMI cord below, which looks like a decent length. Hopefully I can get it close enough to the TV. And yeah, there's your DC adapter. It's exactly like a cell phone charger. It's, it's a cell phone charger is what it is. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to put that over there. This is the controller again. I'm hearing that it has an extremely small cord and it definitely looks like it does. But the controller itself, authentic. It's actually extremely light. This is like lighter than the originals and the D-pad is different. They use like a, a matted plastic on the original. This is actually more of a harder plastic. Uh, these are the same as the original, and these seem to be the same as the original. But let's actually take a look here at the length of this cord. It's supposedly two and a half feet long, which the original NES cords were like nine to ten feet long. So it's definitely a far cry and a lot different. And um, I guess I have to say in the immortal words of the angry video game nerd is what were they thinking? No, seriously, what were they thinking? A two and a half foot cord? Or why wasn't in today's technology, why wasn't this like Bluetooth or wireless or something? Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting close to the TV, very, very close to the TV. But it does have the same connector as the, the nunchucks for the Wii remotes. Uh, you can actually plug this into your Wii Remote and you can use this on your Wii U playing the classic console games on from the uh, eShop. Um, plugs in easily enough. You actually have to push this down to pull it out so you guys don't just 
tear it or you're going to tear your whole system out, you actually have to grooves, you actually have to push them down to take these out. Come goes in very easily, pulls out very easily. Uh, reset button, power button, power button stays in. It's just like the original reset. It's a little different from the original, but I guess this is how you go to the menu according to what I've heard. Check that out when we actually look at the video. Um, and that's it. That's what's in the box, but now there's this, um, the additional controller. Love the packaging, but it looks like they glued the top of the box shut. Which means they're going to have to partially tear this if I want to get the controller out. And I don't like that, but it is what it is, I suppose. If I want to collect one of these, I'll just get them when they become more common, I guess. Yeah, that's really annoying. I really wish they hadn't glued this shut. The box is very nice. And, well, I just tore it a little bit. Oh well. Might as well go for it at this point. It's not that bad. I could still display this. And it's just a second controller. It looks looks like the other one, so I'm not going to go ahead and unpackage this one in the video for you guys. Um, we'll come back to you with uh, some actual gameplay in a little bit. Okay, we got it all hooked up now, so we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on, see how it plays. Okay, so I don't have fancy um, video capture equipment, guys, so we're just going to have to record this straight off the TV. When you first turn it on, it's going to come up with a menu, apparently, asking you what language you want, so I'm Engl I, you know, I speak English, and there we go. And brings you right to your list of games. Uh, nice and simple, nothing overly complicated. Yeah, I like this. So as you can see, this you know has a ton of games on it. Well, 30 to be exact, which for the price of 60 bucks is not bad. You've got Double Dragon, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, and for those of you who love trivia, Donkey Kong is Cranky Kong. Yeah, I love it. Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, and that's gonna be awesome that Galaga made it on here. A uh, ton of other games, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, which is great. I never actually owned Kid Icarus. I played it many times, but never owned it. So yeah, Kirby's Adventure, I played, but never owned it. The original Mario Brothers from the Atari 1980 or 81, I think they came out. Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, or Gaiden, depending on who you are. Uh, Pac-Man, the classics, Punch-Out, featuring Mr. Dream. So this is not Mike Tyson's Punch-Out for the purest that's going to be kind of blasphemy. Otherwise, it's the same game, but with a different person at the end. Then Star Tropics, Super C, Mario 1, 2, and 3. Tech Mobile, so there's football, and for every Zelda fan, you've got Zelda 1 and 2. So, yeah. Let's fire one game up, see how it goes, and um, what should I try here? By the way, I'd like to give a little bit of a shout out. It is my girlfriend helping me right now. She's the one handling the camera work while I go through all this. Hi! Thank you for saying hi. Say hi everybody back. She won't hear you because this is a video, but hey. Um, well, you can always go with your classics. So, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do a Mario Brothers 2 player and I'm gonna have her kind of record me playing it. And when it's her turn, I'm gonna go ahead and play it. And I almost forgot, you actually have to hit select to do the second player. This is kind of weird. I haven't done this in a long time. Oh, this looks... I do know there are different filters you can use, but for at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and play it as it is. And Goomba Stomp! Flower power! Haha! <laughs> die! Die! Okay, not crazy, folks. I just love me games. Now, according to the pamphlets and... Damn it! I believe these are actually toad people, so when you break the actual blocks, you're killing toad people. So... Yeah, that's messed up, Mario. What the hell? 
and jumping. Woohoo! Five Good old Mario Brothers. Now let's see if it does the same thing. Can I? Yes, it pauses. Oh my God, it's revolutionary. Give me my mushroom! Is anyone else disturbed by the fact that a man eats a mushroom and grows tall? And then stomps on innocent animals, killing them in horrible ways? Yeah, 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 okay, fine, whatever. I am better at this game than the Zabes. I got the run! Uh I died. And my girlfriend's cell phone knocked. It's her turn! I gotta take the camera now. Go, Luigi, go! I can! There we go. Oops. Hey! Luigi ate a swimming grew. Can someone please tell me how you're not breaking your fist? Star power! Star, come back! No! 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 There we go. I'm missing stuff. Darn it, Star! Made me miss stuff! Oh, that was before, honey. Oh, fine. Just checking. No, okay, fine. No! Apparently, when you hit the reset button on the machine, it takes you to a save state, so... You hit reset and it brings you back and in the lower corner you could kind of see this floating thing with wings on it and this is Nintendo why am I not surprised that it has wings on it um, but I think you push down yeah it's down and it allows you to save up to four different files so it basically it leaves you off exactly where you left off and you can go ahead and you can just restart at that point the next time so games like Mario where originally you had to play all the way through it and beat it you don't have to do that anymore you hit A and boom there you go gotta love it it's kind of cool so in any case Let's see if we can figure out a little bit more. There is the settings up here. We got display and options, languages, uh, legal notices. Oh, and manuals. Apparently, you can get the manuals. Let's check that out in a moment. But display. You can go see, and basically it's called a CRT filter. It makes it look like you're playing it on an older TV. You can have it at four, at basically the four to three ratio, which is what we were playing at. And then you can do pixel perfect, which is gonna be, well, it's gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna look, it's gonna have the black bars more on the side. It's gonna be less stretched out, but apparently it's pixel perfect to how it looked back in the day. Um, that's pretty cool, the different modes of play. Uh, let's go back. Uh, what are the options? Uh, demo. Not really sure what demo is. Um, auto shutdown. Apparently, I guess this has a sleep mode on it. Uh, screen burning reduction. Ah, I guess this is so you don't burn out your screen by keeping the same picture up for too long. Uh, reset the factory settings. Okay, apparently this is a tablet in disguise. So, what else we got? Language, uh, legal notices, manuals, and oh, that's how this works. And it's one of those scan bars. Basically, you scan it, and I guess you can unlock the manuals. Um, not gonna try that tonight, but that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go to Pixel Perfect for a second. And let's see. I love the original Zelda, right? 
Uh, it definitely pushes it in a lot more. I guess that really is coming, kind of really mimicking how it was on the older TVs, at least ratio-wise. I think I kind of like the 4 to 3 a little bit better, but let's go ahead and start this up and and now I could always put the name Zelda in and that would give me the second quest, but I'm a kind of a purist and I like to call my character Link because it's his name and I like his name, so I use his name. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it really has been a long time since I've played this. Oh, mustn't forget to go in here. This is where you get your sword, folks. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Oh, how convenient that you were right here in this cave with a sword. And then disappeared. What the hell are you? If it's dangerous to go alone, why doesn't he go with you? I don't know. Apparently, your sword is your best friend. Okay. Oh yeah, the emulation software software on this is amazing. It's like, it really feels like the old NES. Uh, I know you can play a lot of these games through the virtual console, and there's about a million other systems that can emulate Nintendo games or play the cartridges, which I own many of. But this actually feels very authentic, and I don't have this much money. Why are you selling me stuff now? This is one of my all-time favorite games. Um, it was perhaps one of the first real action-adventure games that I played and beat through. It, I was pretty young at the time. Um, Final Fantasy is a really good role-playing game that I like to play, and that is on here as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reset. I'm not really doing anything in-depth, but I'll go ahead and I will save the data for that. And bada boom There's so much on here to play. Uh, overall, just as kind of just the first impression the controllers work immensely well I, I really got to give the controllers a lot of prop let me give you a little bit more lighting on this again I'm kind of doing this impromptu um, the controllers again are, are so authentic to the originals the d-pad in my opinion is a lot better this is not matted like the original and the buttons are very responsive um, thankfully my setup here with the table and stuff it works really well so I can actually play this without being extremely close to my TV but I'd rather have my NES mini over with the rest of my consoles and I'm gonna, probably gonna have to get those 10 foot extensions um, overall very solid product so far I'll probably do a more in-depth review once I get the chance to play it more uh, as of right now I'm gonna have to say this is brilliant. The only thing I would suggest is that Nintendo go with wireless controllers, or for God's sakes, please give us back our 10-foot cords. Yeah, very good first impression. This is kind of more of a first impression video, guys, so I'm going to give it a good solid 9.5 out of 10. Uh, this is the Metal Geek saying have a great one, but before I do, just to introduce you to the person that was helping me. That's my girlfriend, and now we're gonna go play some NES Mini. Have a great one, guys. Yay! I thought I was done recording this video, and then this happened. I don't know what's going on. I have yet to drink any alcohol. What is going on? I'm not drunk. What is go- Oh my god, this is so trippy. Seriously. I think somebody at Nintendo was tripping balls here. It's Link holding the Triforce and why am I so amused by this? Maybe because it looks like a pizza. I'm Mario and I'm gonna make the pizza and the spaghetti and oh my god, I'm, I know my voice isn't that great but hey. And he went back to the script. Ah, oh wait, hi Mario, you're running. Um. Uh, it, it, it decided to play by itself. My NES Mini, it's possessed! <laughs> Apparently it shows demos if you just wait too long on the screen. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, 9.5 out of 10. Have a great one, guys.